welcome to the conference. I'm very excited today because this is our first in-person conference since 2019. Uh, my name is Maria Domsa smith I'm the Director of Health and Biomedical Studies at National Centre for Social Research. And today I chaired the session that looked at all of the latest development in health service. It's really unique in bringing together uh, people who produce the data, like myself, and then data users, academics, um, uh, you know, charities, etc., who might want to use the data and really kind of facilitate these conversations and potentially future collaborators. Um, but it's just really important as well to showcase the uh, health surveys, health studies infrastructure that we have in, in this country. So you saw uh, the different topics that were covered, so they range from mental health, physical health, but also to gambling, uh, dental health, etc. So just showcasing that is also really important. I'm Doug Warren, I'm an Associate Director at Ipsos and I sit within the public affairs team there and today I've been talking about the Active Lives Survey, hopefully letting people know a little bit about what the surveys are, how they work um, and what data is available. But I think, you know, with both of the Active Lives Surveys of adults and children and young people having continued through the pandemic, it's given a wealth of data as to um, how the pandemic affected activity levels and a lot of that actually was expected so things like active travel um, dropping off over the pandemic and say team sports where the rule of six came in really affected them but it's then thinking about well what's the recovery look like um, and that's where the data has been really interesting I think of revealing um, some of the inequalities that Sport England still need to address and that they are working hard to, um, to remedy. I am Mina Kamari and I'm a professor of um, biological and social epidemiology at the Institute for Social and Economic Research at the University of Essex. And I think one of the things about understanding society is that we've got this data set where we had all of this information from before we could watch what was happening to people during the pandemic. We, we're now following them afterwards so we can see what's happening to people, the long-term impacts of some of these things. And because we've got so many different areas in the survey, not just health, but you know all of those kind of wider social determinants of health, for example, all these other things that impact people's health, um, we could, we've got a kind of a broad whole view of the family and what's happened to, to them. Um, in terms of health, in terms of their social environment. I'm Richard Silverwood. I'm Associate Professor of Statistics and the Chief Statistician at the UCL Centre for Longitudinal Studies. I think you can see here from the, the breadth of attendees today in, in terms of uh, those people who are collecting and making available the data and also the sorts of research that have been undertaken, that they're providing a, a very really vital um, role across different disciplines so it's very important and then with respect to the event today yep it's, it's great to be able to bring to bring together people data providers and data users um, to discuss the opportunities that are there and potentially the the limitations what we can be doing in the future to ensure that we're collecting data that's most appropriate for the the demands of the research community um, it's great to be able to do this sort of thing face to face as excellent opportunities for networking. I've just been chatting to some new people in the corridor. Um, and so yeah, it's, it's, it's a great opportunity to do that.